previously on iReview Crap. I'm going to check out my new Seiko Tuna. Hold on a second, Watchbot, what did you do? So it's a Charlie the Tuna watch. Very funny. I really hate you, Watchbot. I finally got you, you stupid bastard. Well, I guess I'll have to make the best of it. Uh, I'll put it on this matching blue and gold strap and uh, do a full review on it next week. Sorry, Charlie. Hey, everybody. Today I'm doing a full review of the Charlie the Tuna Watch I discussed in my Tuna Watch Challenge video. In case you were wondering, it's a manual wind watch made by Sheffield in 1971. Anyhow, quick wristwatch check. Today is another mystery watch that will feature in an upcoming video. First person who guesses it will get a shout out in a future video. So yeah, I put a new gold and blue leather extra extra long strap on the watch. The colors match the watch perfectly. The leather strap is apparently new old stock and claims to be made in France. Unfortunately, while most of the gold plating on the case seems to have worn off, both the silver sunburst dial and acrylic crystal are in perfect shape. Apparently this watch has a Swiss movement, but the dial is from Hong Kong, okay. The engraving on the back states, anti-shock and water resistant, as well as anti-magnetic and stainless steel back. Oh look, here it says that the case was made in Hong Kong also. It has an acrylic crystal which was common in the 70s. So here's a wrist shot. Although this watch is a bit smaller than what I normally wear, it doesn't really look too small on my huge wrist. So let's check out the loom shot. At first the loom seemed great, but it fades to nothing within a minute or two. This loom was probably shot after 46 years, not really a big deal. For those of you who are younger millennials or just live outside the US, you may not know who Charlie the Tuna is. This character was advertised on TV almost constantly from the 60s through the 80s. Charlie the Tuna is a suicidal hipster mascot of Starkist Tuna. He keeps hoping to get picked up by the Starkist tuna boat, but is rejected because he doesn't meet their standards. While Starkist still uses the Charlie the Tuna mascot, commercials with Charlie don't play anywhere near as often as they did when I was growing up. Here's a typical commercial from back in the 80s. Ugh, here it is, Charlie. Natural spring water, no calories. Bring me ten more. Ten more? Gift wrap for Starkist. Charlie! Starkist will take me out of sheer gratitude. Starkist tuna in natural spring water. Mmm, delicious taste, but half the calories of tuna in oil. A measurable difference. Come and get your gift, Starkist. Sorry, Charlie. Starkist tuna in natural spring water. Good taste, naturally. Here's the original advertising flyer for the watch. Apparently this watch could be yours for the amazing price of $4.95 plus a few labels from tuna cans. I did the math and that comes out to about 30, a little over $30 in 2017 money. So that figures out well because $30 will get you a pretty cheap watch these days. Watchbot. Can we get the specs on this watch? The watch is around 36 millimeters wide and can take an 18 millimeter watch band. Thanks, Watchbot. 
Surprisingly, the watch keeps very good time, plus or minus 30 seconds a day, which for a cheap vintage watch is pretty good. Anyhow, that's all I have for today. I'll be setting up my studio for my holiday series, so this will be the last video till Friday when I start up the 12 Days of Casio series. So please be patient. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.